Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a smart to-do list in Microsoft Excel using the new checkbox feature. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful to-do list and here we have serial number, then the task name and we have a status column wherein we have the checkboxes. And these are not the form control or active X checkboxes. This is the new feature available to insert the checkbox in Excel. I will show you. Here we have the comment section. You can put your comments. And then on the top we are showing the stats. How many total tasks we have. The pending count. Then the completed. And we are showing the completion bar also. As I check the new task. Then you can see the bar is getting changed. And you can see the level of the bar also getting changed and color also getting changed for the bar when it is increasing it is taking according to the background all right now i will show you step by step how you can do this without using the bba code now let's add a new workbook so this is book 2 we will create the to-do list from here take here serial number first now let's take here task name and here we will take status and then we will take here comments okay so let's increase the size for the task name status and the comments now we will quickly format this so select this range go to the home align this center center and make it slightly smaller press ctrl bun and go to the border and here let's take this blue color outline inside click on ok Select the header only and let's take this blue color and make the font as white. Now for the serial number we will use the sequence function sequence and to get the rows we will use the count a function. Count a and select this range. Close the bracket hit the enter. We are getting here this error. Now we can use the if error function if error then it should be blank and just close. If I will put here the task name, let's say test, then you can see one here. Okay, so let's put the original task name for now. I'm just copying it from here. So let's copy and let's paste this here as value. Okay, as I paste the task, the serial number is updated automatically. So it's a dynamic as you update your new task, the serial number will come automatically. All right. Let's go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here. For the status, we will insert the new checkboxes. Select the range. Okay. And then I'll go to the insert and we can see new cell control checkbox here. This is the new feature available in Office 365. So just click and automatically checkboxes will be inserted. You can change the color of the checkboxes also using the font color. So let's say I'm taking this theme color. Now the color is changed select this cell here you can see in the formula bar it is showing false if I check this then it is showing true okay it is different from the form control checkbox let me quickly show you the form control checkbox also if I go to the developer tab and insert a form control checkbox this one click here the first thing it will be over the cell we have to align this with the cell properly like this and we have to remove this text also and then to use the true and false we have to right click format and then we have to link the cell so it's a long process so let's delete this now from here we can simply select and press delete then you can see the checkbox is not visible and if i will hover then i can see this grayed out and if i will click that checkbox will appear automatically okay if you want to remove this completely then there are various ways you can copy these cells and you can paste them here then it will not appear you can see or you can go to home tab and here go to the clear and you can clear all okay so that will not appear all right now select this range and then press alt od to open the conditional formatting rule manager click on new rule go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format click on this box and just click here and remove the dollar sign by pressing F4 thrice 
and go to the format go to the font and just check this strike through okay and the color we will take this dark green color or let's say this color click on okay okay and apply now here you can see check color is getting changed and the strike through is also we will quickly create the top stats also for the first row we are creating the headers go to the home and click on margin center here you can put your title that's a to do list align the center increase the size give some background so let's say i'm taking this background font white okay now here we will put our stats we can increase the size we will create the bar here to show the completion percentage and here we will show the stats so let's add a new sheet this sheet will be to do list so i will use here to do list and this will be our support sheet okay now in the support sheet just take here total task and here we will use pending and here completed okay now select these two cell and use merge and center similarly here and here also increase the column bit slightly and then align them center just copy and here paste a special column bit only okay alt e s w okay and align them center here also go to the view and remove the grid lines from here home and let's take here this blue color font white and here we will use the count a formula count a go to the to do list row number 6 till the end just select and just close the bracket so we are getting here total task count similarly we will calculate the pending so let's select this color here and just use count a function this time go to the to do list and we will select status column range this range comma false okay and just close the bracket so we are getting here pending let's count the completed also use the count if function go to the to do list in the status column comma use here true all right now for completed we will use this color and let's take the white font this one and similarly here also here we will use light blue color this one similarly here we will take this color and here this color all right increase the size change the font here use the digital this font digital saving you can download this from google and now we will increase the size slightly let's take around 22 or 24 and same here 24 and here also 24 all right so now we can provide a border also so select this range press control 1 and go to the borders and use this thick border and take the theme color so let's take this color outline okay and similarly here also control 1 and let's take this border and this theme color outline okay and select this range control one border this one and take this theme color outline click on okay okay so this is ready now we can copy the first one copy go to the to do list and just go to the paste and paste a special linked picture okay so we have this one here increase the row height of row number 3 and let's keep this here similarly we will copy the second one copy and here paste as linked picture this one let's put this here copy this one also and paste as linked picture this one okay so we have three pictures here which is linked with this cell select these pictures and go to the picture format align them top and distribute them horizontally okay now here we will use the bar first go to the support and select this cell and then type here total underscore task so this is total task and this is pending enter and this is completed enter come to the to do list and type the formula here completed divide by total task 
so we will get here completion percentage okay we can use the if error also if error and if this is error then it will show blank press shift control and 5 to show in the percentage format align this center middle and increase the size we will use the same digital saving font so use this font okay now we will provide here a green border so press control 1 go to the borders and let's select this border and take this green color and outline click on ok now press alt od to open the conditional permitting rule manager go to the new rule select here data bar in the data bar the minimum type let's select number and for maximum also number minimum value will take 0 maximum we will take 1 which is 100 percent okay color let's select this theme color click on ok apply okay so if i will check then here you can see everything is getting changed now only thing is when we reach to the 60 percent then it should be in white font okay or let's say 55 percent so it should be in white font so that it can be displayed properly and when it is less than 55 then it should be in black so what i will do select this range press alt od and new rule and i will put a conditional formatting here format only cell that content and i will use here equal to or greater than 0 0.55 if it is 55 percent or greater than then go to the format and take the white font click on ok ok and apply ok if i will check and it is reached till 55 or greater than then it is in white font automatically all right friends so friends that is how you can create this smart to-do list in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for watching.